Fraud number six. Wealth redistribution is a solution to wealth inequality. How many political movements, past and present, are based on taking from the rich and giving it to the poor? How many times have you heard the refrain, tax the rich? Again, from a physical economic view, it is just another fraud. So, one gets all the poor organized to revolt, to grab it from the rich. If that were to happen without a fundamental change in the physical economy, everyone would still be poor. Never in history has wealth redistribution ended poverty. Infrastructure, science, technology, and skills learned is how it was done in the past and in the present. It is what China has been doing and is doing. So, where does wealth come from? It is organized by the nation. A good nation will tax the rich for not investing in the economic development of the nation. Rather than try to take from the rich and give to the poor, new increased physical wealth comes from the future improvement of the productive powers of the labor force. This increase in the productive power of the labor force must include improvements in infrastructure and technology. This was Alexander Hamilton's approach. That is, to use the taxing power of the nation to incentivize the direction of investment into the physical economy. Taking wealth from the rich and distributing it to the poor only dissipates the potential capital which needs to be concentrated in the projects needed to improve the overall productivity of the economy. This concentration of investment in development is what lifts the entire society to new economic platforms and is the only way to ultimately end poverty. But the existence of poverty has another side to it.